Yo. She wanted to hear. Ooh, okay. Oh, we're some rock and roll shit this morning. Hold on. Let me get in the car, bitch. Oh, I don't like this one bit. My grandma wouldn't tell nobody. Hold on, goddamn. All right, fuck it, man. What up, y'all? What up? I said, what up? I said, what up? <laughs> Yo, man, welcome to another episode of Whiplash. I'm sorry for yelling in y'all ear. It will coincide. Welcome to another episode of Whiplash, man. We uh, we out and about. We headed. We headed there. We headed there. We headed to the top right now. Hey, turn me up in the headphones. I love when rappers do shit like that. They start talking, and you be like, look at me about to fucking just... I ain't about to shoot myself, but my gun, my gun was sitting... God damn. My gun was sitting on my seat facing me. I mean, the safety on, but it was facing me. Like, if a nigga would have been in the seat and got static, nigga would have popped my asses now. Oh, God. But, man. Man, man, man. What a fucking life. What a fucking life we're living. I say that because at what point, at what point, and I tweeted this last night, and I, was, I wrote it in my journal first, because, man, I'm really, journaling is about to be, a, it's already, it's a habit, but I want to do it every night. I do it, like, every other night, but when you journal, bro, just different thoughts and different emotions come out on that paper that, you know, subconsciously, you could not be thinking about. Like, consciously and subconsciously, you could not be thinking about it. I ain't got no water, do I? I do got some water. Damn, I ain't got no water in here, son. Fucking hell. And I ain't going to drink this caffeine until I got to work. Fuck. But, man, like I said, you consciously and unconsciously think of things. So, with that being said, when you start to journal, when you journal rigorously, like, bro, that shit come out. So, I was just like... At what point, and let me try to read this, because I have to read it. I have to read it verbatim. I have to read it verbatim. Hold on. Give me one second, please. Brief intermission, ladies and gentlemen. The tweet said, if someone isn't growing. God damn it, it went off my story. Hold on, give me one second. Somebody, I think, will do that comment on it. Yeah. Give me one second, people. I'm fucking everywhere. If someone isn't growing, at what point do they become a weed in your garden? Do you try to help them bloom or pluck them right out to stop the spread? The weeds come back, though, time and time again. They can be some of the most colorful, beautiful flowers we ever did see. Inhale. Exhale. That's what I said, man. At what point... At what point, like, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna list any specific names because I have a respect for the person, but I, this is my platform and this is something, bro. This is like my fucking audio diary. At what point? Let me, let me calm down. I really want this to be a calm talk. So if you still here with me, just know it's about to real, be real calm. Let me put some nice jazz in the background. Like, at what point, if your friend's not growing or somebody in your life? Is it growing? And I, when I say not growing, I kind of mean to. I can't really. I can't really say. In this whole talk, I, I don't want to seem like a hypocrite because I'm dealing with my own shit too. Like we all dealing with our own stuff. And like I said, I really don't want to get into details here, but details would fucking give you a very good context. Okay, I'm going to go into very, very 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 blatant detail very very blatant detail very very bland very very uh i don't know why the word enchromatic just came in my mind i don't even know if that's a word very 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 oblivious not oblivious because i don't want it to be oblivious but fuck it so one of my friends man like like great person great person we all have our flaws, bro. We all got our flaws. Like, we all got them. And I accepted them. I accepted them for who they were. And I accepted them for the flaws that I particularly 
thought they had because the ones that I thought were may not still there, I thought were gone because with time, some of those flaws were like just childlike things, bro. It's just like, it's not, at what point, at what point do we address each other as people and be like, bro, you gotta, what are you, bro, you not, you still living in this mindset. You not, you not evolving, bro. At what point do we do that? And we could do that with each other with specific things. It's just, when me and this person get to arguing and talking, let me some air in here, because if I can't get no fucking water, my mouth ain't gonna be dry. Or my skin ain't gonna be dry. <laughs> Man, like, at what point do you say enough is enough and if I stay in this relationship, because you don't have to be fucking in a intimate relationship. Every relationship in somewhat regard is intimate. Every relationship in somewhat regard is intimate. But I, don't, I never know if y'all can hear the wind or not, so excuse the wind. But it's just like, bro, you got to... And this shit been fucking me up for the last two days. Not last two days. Last day and today. Because I'm just like... I'm talking. And I'm telling people... Because I was telling them... I was like, yo, it ain't really... Because you can only... When, when you're texting people, it's only so much emotion that can be conveyed. But in what they were saying... The emotion that would be conveyed was like... Arrogance and like... It, it, it's it, it's stuff that I've seen myself doing. It's stuff where you really want somebody to move on your go. Like, when you say go, they should be going. And, like, bro, this whole thing started about a video game. And a chord. And me being like, before I take this game, yo, it's going to be a minute before I get the chord. Because I put myself in a financial situation that was my doing... But this is not a priority. A chord in a video game is nowhere near my priority. But I can see the excitement on that person's face wanting to, you know, play the game with me and, you know, doing what friends do. Niggas is hanging out. But, bro, I'm, I can't do that. And then in your response to be like, oh, that's uh, money isn't the problem, da-da-da, and on some... Like, yo, you work a job, and plus you got your own business. $18 shouldn't be a lot. Like, my G, I got $18. But the way financial freedom and literacy and responsibility works, and this is another part of what I've seen in him that I've been trying to change. And I don't even want to say change because we, we can't change people. But I've been trying to influence because we all say we got these goals and if your goal is X, Y, and Z, but you're not doing X, Y, and Z to make it happen, and people say stuff and you get like, you, it, everyone might know what I say when I mean this. I mean when I say this. Have you ever told somebody something and they start laughing? But it's not like a, I said something funny laugh. It's like a aggressive, like, <laughs> like, nigga, what? Who you think you're talking to type laugh? And if you always get that, Cause I used to do, I, bro, I still do that, but I used to do that significantly. Like I would do that a lot. So when I see that and that needs to change and then we get into it about a video game because I can't play it. Like, bro, it was one day. This conversation happened a day after I got the game. Yo, you get the cord yet? Nigga, it, it was night. Like my nigga, you asked me did I get the cord. I got the game at 7 p.m. It went to nighttime, woke up, went to work, got off. Hey, you get the court? Nigga, no. What are you talking about? I'm, I wouldn't even get that court till the weekend. That's not. And just what I'm learning just about the way I be, should be setting up my days and my phases and my habits so I can be this ultra successful person that I know I will be and that I know I see in myself and that is being portrayed and that other people see Yo, I can't even, I can't, I can't even move with you no more type shit. Like, I can't even, I can't even mano y mano. Like, I don't feel, I don't feel mano y mano. It, the mano y mano is no longer y mano. 
mano no imano, or however that saying goes. But bro, it's like, <laughs> bro, I don't want to get into very, bro. But even like, even when it comes down to just everyday responsibility, bro, if you're not taking care of your indirect and direct responsibilities, because we got we all have indirect and direct responsibilities. Like, yo, I know my grandma, I they, I know my grandma can't take these trash cans down a big hill. So it was directly bestowed upon me that taking out the trash would be my responsibility. An indirect responsibility would be like if the dog stood up on the floor, it was just a mess on the floor. I'm not just gonna walk past that. I can't just carry on past that. I can't, it's a thing of, bro, I'm grown as hell. Like we can clean these messes. You don't have to, it don't have to be your mess to clean. And it is as simple as that. Just seeing traits that's like, yo, bro, you say you're not gonna take the responsibility? And not even on some, like a nigga, it's, it'd be simple shit, but it's like that. It's like it can. It's like that with a lot of people. But at what point do you look at that person? And at what point do they look at you and say, "Hey, bro, either this need to change, or I got to step away." And I think I'm at the point now where I really have to step away. Because I had to step away from a relationship, like a like a relationship, because the childhood traumas and the traumas of my father and my and my traumas of being a I guess controlling person. Yo, if you just speed up a little bit, my G, I'll be able to get over. Me being a controlling person in some situations, like bro, I really be learning shit. And they'd be wanting people to implement it right then and there. I'm not going to lie to you. And that's something I'm working on. Like, I've had people tell me, like, yo, my back hurt. And I'm like, yo, so do this yoga video. And then when you don't do it, to me, it's like, what the fuck? But you have to give people their own pace. Because even if they don't do it that day, if they do it another day and they start being like, oh, shit, this shit really worked. If you get mad at them that day or upset at them that day, and then they still get to the same outcome. What was all that really for is what I started to think. But I also think the different side of like, we do so much negative shit fast and we get it done and we reward ourselves. Like this is something I learned this morning. Like we have to be irregular. We have to make our reward systems of our dopamine and our reward systems of what we physically reward ourselves with. We have to make those things irregular and very, very irregular because when you make it irregular, then your brain starts to regulate the dopamine instead of you regulating it. And then, because when you regulate it, that's just like me when we smoking. Like, if I would have smoked this morning, I probably would have got the dopamine hit that I was searching for. But I literally said, bro, I'm gonna do this podcast, California Sober. I'm gonna do this podcast, California Sober. And just to see, bro, you have to see the different stages and phases of what you're doing, how it affects you. That's fucking, that's just what it is. Bro, we got to take more control. We have to take more control because so many things are not in our control. Let me say that again. We have to take more control of ourselves personally, physically, because there is more, there's more, there's more stuff out controlling us. Like this is gas station right here and I got some caffeine, but I kind of want to get a water, but there's water at work. So I wouldn't make the financial decision to stop at this gas station and buy something to drink because I can get something to drink from work. It wouldn't, that, that's pretty much what that situation was. Hey bro, you, hey bro, you've been talking about getting some water for a long time or for a minute, you know, here's some water. Nah, bro, I've been making some decisions. I, I can't, I, I don't want to buy it right now. Either I buy it in the future when I need, when I got the means to, or as I'm getting to work, I'll just fill up my water bottle. But at what point does someone turn, because all weeds are just flowers, to be honest with you. They just flowers that we deem unpurposeful and unnecessary. So at what point 
do you say someone is unpurposeful and unnecessary in your life? And that's a very that's a very hard decision to make, people. Cause even though, like, I mean, I blocked the person. I I, I unblocked them this morning. I unblocked the unblocked them this morning and stuff like that. Cause I'm just like, you know, that shit don't really do shit. <laughs> like when you be blocking people, that shit don't really do shit, really. So I unblocked them, and I'm just like, well, you know, bro, I just gotta, you know, I I, I just based on. Based on actions, words, and habits, and mindset, I have to step away. Because the way my mindset is elevating and the way, the way I want to take it, I can't, I can't associate that. I can't associate myself. And then, you know, when people also make, you know, we was both, I guess we was both saying some hurtful things. But for me, personally, and this hurts me, I'm being vulnerable. When people make fun of the shit I want to do and, like, try to use it against me, like, oh, aha, oh, this nigga swear he want to be a life coach so bad. Bro, I'm not trying to be a life coach. I'm just telling you shit that I see in you, that I see in myself, that I know you're doing, that I know will have very negative consequences in the in the end. Unless, and me, bro, even like my mom said, it's, it, sometimes in life it take traumatic situations for people to go through with, you know, certain people in their lives that that be the catalyst for change. But I don't feel like that necessarily has to be the catalyst for change. I feel like we do so much negative shit very fast and very to our needs, but we don't do any, a lot of positive stuff and very uncomfortable, progressive, purposeful things. We do all that shit slow and we want to integrate that shit so slow. Oh, I'm going to go to this gym starting next week. Oh, I'm going to start journaling tomorrow. I'm going to start talking to my mom and resolving our relationship in a couple of years. People, it does not work like that. You could be here today and die tomorrow. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. You could be here today and gone tomorrow. You could have one mindset today. Some traumatic happened. Your mindset completely shifts. But it can only shift if we don't have control and we really don't be having control in general. Like, we don't have control off rip. Off rip, we ain't got control. So you have to learn control. You really have to learn control to be able to control the shit that you want to control, which sounds hilarious. <sighs> Man. And just even when shit ain't in your control and we want to control it so bad, Think about the feelings that's uprising. Think about the feelings that's being, you know, evoked in that moment and see what you could do to either resolve that feeling or you can do a technique, um, which is, it's called evasion. <laughs> and evasion is kind of just setting something off to the side to be resolved later. Like, you know, so a lot of times we might not have the answers right then and there. So it's okay to evade. It's okay to be like, okay, hold on. Let me think about this a little later. But the thing about evasion, the thing about evasion is evasion is also, you know, suppression because you like, you're suppressing that for later. But suppression can also turn into regression, which is like your subconscious a fucking uh suppressing that to a point where you don't even you don't even think about it because your subconscious is blocking it and you just never even think about it so that evasion that turned into suppression that turned into regression bro it's okay to think about stuff later you just really have to think about it later and that's what i'm doing right now not thinking about stuff later but i'm actually thinking about like i thought about it yesterday couldn't really come to a conclusion of my feelings emotions and what i should do yesterday and then woke up uh, thinking about it a little bit more today. I'm thinking about it. I said I'm going to express it all in the pod. And that's what I'm doing, man. It's just uh, it's a weird situation of dealing with friends and their growth. Because I honestly, I honestly think and believe, honestly know that other people's growth that is close to you in a way does influence your growth and does influence like... 
you don't look at the people at these certain levels of success and success, success in their fields. You don't see them hanging around certain individuals. You don't see them hanging around certain, not certain individuals, certain individuals with certain habits and mindset character traits. And I just don't, I don't think right now, I don't think right now my mindset is healthy enough to also try to deal with the double, the same type of mindset and even, even worse in some cases, not even worse in some cases. And also in some cases, stuff I don't agree with. So if I don't agree with that, and then I also don't feel like you're growing, I have to step away because I'm trying to, I'm really trying to, like, I'm really trying to grow here. Like, People don't understand. We have to take so much control of our individual lives. And that may mean pushing some people out. And that may mean distancing yourself from certain people. I just had a person tell me like, yo, I really don't want to come over your house anymore because of a situation that happened last time. So if you want to hang out, hey, bro, we got to do it outside your house. And I was like, bro, that's completely understandable and respectable because a traumatic situation happened. So it's just like if a traumatic situation happened and you see me and like I said, bro, I have stuff to work on. I don't necessarily remember that situation as vividly maybe as them to actually recount those things. So I, I'm really, and I got to ask them that today, what happened so I can remember and reflect. I literally want to remember and reflect. I'm not doing this to, oh, you saying that no, it didn't happen, da, da, da. I'm not even going to say that. I'm like, yo, what happened? And then I'm going to reflect on it. Okay, thank you for telling me. Now I'm fine to reflect and see if it, one, once I remember, jogs my memory, jogs my memory, then I reflect on it. Then I see what emotions came up, reflect on those emotions, learn what brought me to those emotions, and then learn how to carry through and resolve and go throughout the situation with those emotions and learn not to let them get to an irrational point. I could be, and I've stated this so many fucking times, I can be so irrational with my emotions, and that person that I'm speaking about, they can also be very irrational with their emotions. And when we're both irrational with our emotions, great things don't tend to happen at all, at all. And there's other, bro, it's a number of situations I could bring up. But at the end of the day, the moral of the story is I'm taking control of my life 100%. And that even means with my finances. Like, bro, my finances, health, and wealth, wealth in the meaning of money, wealth in the meaning of knowledge, abundance, prosperity, dealing with my body, all of that is in my fucking control now. Nothing. Ain't nothing. No, ain't no, ain't no outside force or person other than death gonna be able to change the way I feel and move through this. Bro, I know I have to be more financially responsible. So in moments of financial hmm, questionability, we'll say, in moments of financial questionability, we'll say, I need to hunker down. Hey, how I'm feeling? Why I want to do that? Why I want to buy that? Is that a need or a want? Like my fucking, my wants right now, completely out of the question. My wants right now are completely out of the question. And going back to the fucking cord, that was a want. I want to play, yeah, I wanted to play Call of Duty with my bro, lock us in, do all that great stuff. But his response to me telling him that, yo, I need to hunker down financially right now, even though it's an $18 cord, that still wouldn't, that wouldn't be a good thing. If I only have X amount of dollars to my name, like I got $18, bro. I have credit cards. That's one of my issues right now, me and credit cards. Why would I use a credit card on that? I use the credit card, bro. I use a credit card this weekend on some like, on some like freedom of expression, freedom of wanting to have fun type shit. And I cannot do that anymore because it's only hurting me. It's only hurting me. I've had things in these last couple of days that came up that it was only hurting me. So if it's only hurting me, why would I continue to do it? If it's only hurting me, why would I continue to be around it? If it's only, if it's only, because you know, things is going to bring you positivity in the way you want to express them in the way you go about learning them. We all know our positive things, but we need to work on our negative traits too. We need to work on our flaws. And bro, if you're not working on your flaws, you're stagnant, and I can't be around stagnation right now because I'm trying to elevate. I love y'all. Send us somebody you want to make think. Send us somebody you want to make blink. 
at the end of the day, man, to the, even the person that I might be talking about might listen to this, bro, I love you. I love you with all my heart. But the thing is, I, I, I feel, and this is, this is, even this, even this, me and him having a, our, we didn't even have, our conversation yesterday, one led to an argument, an argument of no one is listening to each other. So a thing would be to have a more deeper, calmer conversation. But I feel as both as we are, both as people, I don't feel like that will happen. And with that not being happening and that me seeing some character traits that even as I brought stuff up before, it didn't have great reactions. And you know, one, because humans don't really like criticism. Uh, but if we brothers, bro, and you telling me you want to do this, this and that, and your actions ain't matching up with that at all. Like how my financial irresponsibilities could be, yours is kind of similar. And then I'm trying to, and then it's a thing of, do I do it? Do you just have to show people actions? Do act, Actions do speak louder than words, but what if your friends are watching? <laughs> actions speak louder than words, but where the TV off? That's just what it is, man. And we, we do so, do positive shit the same way you do negative shit. The same same tenacity, the same effort. And that's it, man. I love y'all. Peace. Whiplash, bar 125, big boy tempo.